hi guys you all are welcome to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be making this lovely skirt with a slit and a ruche it's going to be a very simple and straightforward tutorial if you're yet to subscribe to the channel kindly do that and let's get right into the video so i'll be making use of this fabric it is called a cotton material and i'll be using just three yards it comes in 60 by length so what i'll be doing is folding my fabric into a triangle after folding my fabric into two what i'll be doing next is i'll be taking my waist divided by four plus one inch for sewing allowance so my waist divided by four will give me seven inches plus one inch that's eight so what i'll do is just take my tape place it on the fabric and chuck eight inches as you can see i have eight inches on this point so i'm just going to chuck that line so this line will serve as my waist line. So what I did was my waist divided by four plus one inch sewing allowance and I chucked it straight down. So what I'll be doing next is chucking the length of my skirt. So now you determine how long you want it to be. So from that waistline, you chuck the length of your skirt. For me, I'm going to be making use of 35 inches. So now you're going to be rotating your tape to get 35 inches all around. So after doing that, I had to rechalk my lines because I forgot to add my sewing allowance to it. So I made it 36 and a half. So I went ahead to connect it into a straight line. So go ahead, connect whatever you chalked into a straight line. After doing that, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead now to cut out my fabric. So on that waistline, I'll be coming up by half an inch for joining allowance. You know, we'll be joining the band to the skirt. So you need to come up by half an inch in order for your skirt not to be too wide. So as you can see, I came up by half an inch and I'm going to be cutting out my fabric. So after doing that, we'll be working on the back. For the back, you also fold your fabric into a triangle. So the difference between the front and the back is the back is going to be having a zip allowance. I'll be using one inch for the zip allowance. So I went ahead to chuck one inch all the way down and I connected it into a straight line. After doing that, I'm just going to place my front pattern on the back. That's after the zip allowance. Then I'll go ahead now to cut out my fabric. After cutting out my fabric, we'll be working on the front. So for the front, what you need to do is fold your fabric into two. But I'll be working on the right side of the fabric so that we'll understand what I am doing. So I folded my fabric into two, as you can see. So what I'll do next is I'll be taking my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. Then I'll chuck it on the waistline. My nipple to nipple divided by two will give me four inches. So I chucked four inches and what I'll do next is connect it all the way down. Since this is a cycle skirt, you don't need to start chucking four inches because it's not going to be straight. So what you need to do is just from this point, just connect it all the way down. So I'll be connecting using my curve ruler. So after connecting it into a straight line, I'm just going to flip it to the other side. Then I'll do the same thing I did. I'll take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. I'll chuck it at that waistline area. Then I'm going to connect it into a straight line. Please don't mind the lines. I'm just trying to make it as straight as possible. So what you need to do now is to choose the area that you want your slit to be. So do you want it to be at this side of the fabric or you want it to be at this other side of the fabric? It all depends on your preference. So for me, I'm just going to be making use of this side of the fabric. So what you need to do next is from the waist, you chalk how deep you want your slit to be. So for me, I'm just going to be chalking 19 inches. I don't want it to reveal in. So I'll be using 19 inches for my slit. You can decide to use 14, 15, it depends on your preference. So from that 19 inches, I'm just going to slit all the way down. So when slitting, you have to be careful so you don't slit the two sides. You just need to slit one side of the fabric. I don't know if you understand what I mean. So this is what I mean. So after slitting, this is what I have as you can see. So if you want it deeper than mine, you can make it as deep as possible. So you can either fold your fabric this way and stitch or use a bias 
or use a facing to make it neater i'm going to be using a facing for it so i have pieces of fabric as you can see what i'll do next is just place my skirt pattern on it so place it on it after doing that i'm going to be cutting out that slit area So after cutting it out this is what i have as you can see now you determine how wide you want the facing to be for me i'm just going to be making use of two two inches all around i don't want the facing too wide so i'll be making use of two inches so after cutting out my facing this is what i have so i'm just going to place my facing on my fabric the right side facing each other then i'm going to be running a stitch on it so i'll just stitch half an inch all the way down after stitching this is what i have what i'll do next is to notch the area that i stitched so you need to take your time to notch that middle part is very important you need to notch so that the fabric will sit well so after notching i'm just going to fold it in this way and iron so i'll place my emmy gum on it so you place your emmy gum you fold the edges and you iron so after doing that this is what it looks like as you can see and when i flip it to the front part you can see how neat it is looking so we are done with the slit so since the slit is on this side then the ruche is going to be on this other side so for the ruche you know on the slit area i used 19 inches for my slit then for my ruche i'm just going to be chalking 20 inches i want it to stop at 20 inches so for the ruched, I've cut out some pieces of fabric and the wideness is 2.5 inches. So what I did was to fold the edges by half an inch on both sides, leaving me with 1.5 inches. Then I ironed. So I'm going to place the pieces on it. Then what I'll do is just fold this part this way. Then I'll take it to my sewing table and I'm going to be running a stitch on the edge of these pieces. I run a stitch on both edge after doing that i'm going to run another stitch at the middle point so after stitching you can see i run a stitch on this edge i did the same thing on this other edge and i ran another stitch on the middle part so this is what i have so i've gone ahead now to cut out some pieces and made it into a rope i have two ropes as you can see so what i'll do now is pass my rope so i'll be using my office pin i'm just going to place my office pin on that rope and then i'm going to be passing it on one of the sides after doing that i'll do the same thing for the other side please if you've watched the video to this point and you're yet to subscribe kindly do that and let's get right into the video so after placing my rope this is what i have so what i'll do now is run a stitch just to hold them in place after stitching i'm going to be cutting the excess so guys we are done with the front part of the skirt you can see this is what it looks like so what i'll do next is join my front and my back i've gone ahead to join the zip allowance area for the back for now so i'm just going to place the front and the back together so after placing them together what i'll do next is stitch by one inch all the way down after doing that this is what it looks like as you can see so what i'll be doing next is on that zip allowance area i'm just going to open it up to where i want the zip to stop after doing that i'll take my tape and i'll place it at the waistline then i'll check what i have all around so i'm just going to check what i have all around so as you can see i have 34 inches i've gone ahead now to cut out my band Four inches on fold is two inches so i'm going to be using half an inch to join so my band will be 1.5 inches so i'm going to stitch all around and weave after stitching this is what it looks like as you can see so what i'll do next is add my zip to it so i prefer using invisible zip for this kind of skirt so i'm going to add my zip and i will show you guys the end result so guys this is the final result as you can see this is what it looks like i had to pair it with one of my wrap top and it is giving i really love what i am seeing i'm not really a skirt person but i'm definitely going to rock this 
together. So you can style the skirt in two ways. You can bring it down and you leave it like a cycle skirt, just like this. As you can see, that is the back view. Or you drag it up. So I prefer dragging it up. I think it's more classy that way. Hope the tutorial was helpful. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, and follow me on Instagram at SoWeTest. I will see you guys in the next class. Bye.